Hi, coaches. Um, things are going a little bit differently now. Um, we're recording this off of YouTube Live and seeing how that works. I just wanted to get a video out to you. I know it's been sort of spotty uh, in the world of what I'm doing now. Um, I'm in the middle of getting, doing grad school, trying to get um, my certification done for the principal the administration supervision uh, certification. I'm doing that online, so that's keeping me busy. I'm also changing up teaching jobs, so that's keeping me busy. Um, we're trying to get a new video licensing thing to try to set up and be able to do our videos. So we're going to try to do it off of YouTube Live until I can get that through in my new county. Um, as for right now, um, today I sort of I had a PowerPoint prepared for you, but I'm still figuring out. Um, the, I'm still figuring out here how we do the how we do the streaming, how we do uh, everything off YouTube Live. So this totally bombs, guys. I'm sorry, it'll be a one-off video. Um, you know, I was trying to figure out before. You'll see a little weird video where I was sort of testing it. I was trying to see if I could stream record. If anybody you know wants to help me out on that, you're welcome to. Uh, the system I use is now you know, not working anymore, and that sucks, but I want to get a video out to you tonight. And we're talking more about the spread series, uh, more about BYU and La Lavelle Edwards. You know, and we talk about Lavelle Edwards. He came to BYU in 1962. He was a, you know, high school coach and a guidance counselor who then can't, comes to BYU in 1962 and sort of takes over, and BYU is not known for football at the time. They're not really known for anything, to be honest. And then all of a sudden you get this school that creates the passing offense, the wide open passing offense that would go to influence how mummy go to influence Mike Leach, go to help influence and in creation of the air raid. So we're going to talk briefly about the history today, and then we'll talk some more on Thursday. This is when the live will work out a lot better for mesh. Okay. But Lavelle Edwards, just to know about him, just a little bit of background information, because I'm a history geek and I like that type of stuff. Try to get the, here we go. So he's promoted to head coach in 1972 after starting at BYU's defensive line coach in 1962. He expands the way that, you know, the offense thinks about the field and how it stretches both horizontally and vertically and sort of builds BYU football in a 39-year relationship, 10 as an assistant, 29 as a head coach, wins multiple Western Athletic Conference titles, um, wins a national championship, leads the nation in – passing, leads the nation total offense. Year one, he actually has a back lead the nation in uh, rushing. By 1977, Mark Wilson's leading the nation in passing. He's the quarterback at the time. By 1979, 1980, you have Mark Wilson gives way to Jim McMahon of the Chicago Bears fame. And, you know, they lead the nation in passing and scoring back-to-back -back years, pull out a miracle win over SMU in the Holiday Bowl. By 1983, Steve Young takes them to number seven in the country. The next year, they go on to win the national championship. And by 1990, um, LaBelle Edwards has produced a Heisman Trophy winner in Ty Detmer. By the end there, he finishes 257, 101, and three. And the big influence there is just how he develops the passing game, guys. And he's able to develop and to change the idea. You know, LaBelle sort of joked one time, uh, he had some type of procedure or something done, um, um, something with the lung, something in the uh, cardiovascular area. And he joked when they only passed the ball 16 types, times in a game, it was because he wasn't getting enough oxygen to the brain. So he really revolutionizes the idea and transcends the college offense into the passing world. And sort of his big element into the spread game that we talk about is – influencing Mike Leach, influencing how mummy. That's where we go from there. Okay, that's why we want to talk about next week we're going to get into air raid with how with how mummy and Mike Leach, and we're going to talk some about that, and I'm going to get my air raid on there. Um, in the middle of football camp, I might add. We're going to get the air raid going on, and I'm going to enjoy that. Uh, but we'll talk about that on Thursday, though. We're going to plan to talk about mesh. Okay, I want to do mesh. I want to do four verticals. I figure four verticals would be more of a how mummy Mike Leach topic we want to talk about. And specifically, what I'm going to talk about Thursday on mesh is how we ran it versus how how mummy Mike Leach run it, how we ran it when I was the head coach of an air raid school. Uh, we tinkered it and how I coached it. And you can sort of take from there 
how we run our mesh. I had to simplify it, guys, because I was at a small school. Hopefully it helps you out as you're heading into camp. Um, until then, coaches, thank you for tuning in to Big Drew of the World. I promise we're going to get a little bit better here with these videos here soon. Um, but until next time, if you want to dominate on the scoreboard, you want to win games, guys, you got to know you know you got to dominate in the trenches. If you want to dominate in the trenches, you know you got to remember that Big Drew of the World. I'll see you next time, coaches. Good luck as y'all all start camp. Our first practice is actually Thursday, so I'll probably film that mesh video uh, Thursday night after practice. I'll see you then, coaches. Sigh. <sighs>